The Oregon coast is an amazing and beautiful place to visit, but underneath all of its beauty is something so devastatingly disgusting that it will make your skin crawl. In nearly all of the estuaries where freshwater and saltwater meet, shrimp are affected by a blood-sucking parasite known as Orthione griffinus. Today, we're on the hunt for some shrimp that are infected. And this isn't the first time an invasive animal has infested this area. As some of you know, there are worms in the blackberries you eat. But that's for another video. This mud is so soft. You just sink in it, and it's really thick. So once you sink, it's kind of hard to get out. Finding these shrimp can be pretty difficult. Once you find them, picking them up can also be pretty difficult. Dude, come on, I'm trying to help you. To those unaware that this parasite even exists, it might just look like an ordinary shrimp, but it's under the gill flap of the shrimp that the parasite likes to hide, draining the shrimp of its blood, nutrients, and inhibiting reproduction. Notice the small male attached to the top of the large female. And here's the area of the female parasite that's used to feed off the shrimp. I hope you're feeling better now, Willie. Let's see if we can save the day for a few more shrimp. Oh, fantastic. Here's a couple more. Let's examine both of these shrimp to see which one might have a parasite and which one doesn't. Notice how this shrimp has thin sides with no protruding bulge. And take a look at this one. You can easily tell that there's something bulging underneath its gill flap. This is evidence of a parasite. And while shrimp lack the cognitive ability to comprehend pain, it still might feel some discomfort being handled. However, it's way more beneficial for the shrimp to have the parasite removed because it gives the shrimp a second chance at a healthy life. I hope you little shrimp have a very awesome weekend. Researchers believe that these invasive parasites were brought into the United States back in the early 70s or 80s. While the parasites are thriving, hosting off of the shrimp species, the shrimp are suffering a dramatic decline in their populations. Go out there and save your species, Jennifer. Parasites can attach themselves to one or even both sides of a shrimp. Luckily for these shrimp, they've only got parasites on one side. And another important fact about these shrimp is that it's mostly the females that are affected by parasites. In fact, almost 90% of all female Eupogebia shrimp are affected. While the shrimp are burrowed down inside of the mud, these parasites swim into their gill flaps and hang on using their little white arms. When a parasite's removed, there's a couple different things we can do with it. We can either donate them to scientific research labs to help them solve this invasive species issue, or turn them into plant compost. Either way, we're taking an invasive species out of the water and putting it to good use. Notice on this shrimp how you can see the parasite through the gill flap. I'm sorry to hear about your troubles, Felicia, but I'm here to help. Let's get this parasite removed. Even parasites have an important role in nature, but it's when an organism is brought into an area where it doesn't naturally belong that it begins to have a very negative effect on the ecosystem. Now I realize that removing a few parasites out of countless millions isn't going to solve this problem. But what I do hope to achieve with these videos is to raise awareness and build a community of people who genuinely care about the ocean and want to help. So if that's you, then smash that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos.